Hey everyone, Cold Brew Gaming here. Uh, today is the global launch of Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross, the mobile game. So guys, this game was actually launched in Japan and Korea about six months or eight months ago, if I'm not mistaken. And that game was specifically available only for Japan and Korea. But today is the global launch of that game. It's available on both Android uh, and for Apple devices as well on the App Store. And so far guys, the game it looks amazing. It's so close to the anime. If you guys haven't seen the anime, just by Googling it and, and looking how the anime looks and then getting into the game, it's the same thing. It's like you're playing the anime. And this is why the game immediately pulled me in to play it. Uh, and so far, I'm enjoying it. I'm only uh, level five right now. I have a bit of uh, energy saved up, but yeah, I'm, I'm level five and so far I'm enjoying the game. So um, guys, this game right here has a few heroes which are not yet available because you need to unlock them. It's like a summoning, uh, it's a gacha game basically. So you need to summon uh, a lot of champions if you want to get them all. And these are the race right here. Uh, you use gems, just 30 gems to summon 11 times. And the good thing is, like compared to Raid Shadow Legends, for example, is that if you have uh, summoned for five times in a row, this a bar fills up. And once that bar is filled up, then there's a guaranteed drop of an SSR hero, which means it's like a legendary hero. Uh, the best possible kind of hero, the rarity of a hero you can get in the game. So this is why I really like it so far. You can also watch ads to get like free draws from what I understand, but I don't like that part of the game. I don't like watching ads in games. Like uh, they take me away from the the mindset of playing the game, but it's fine. It's just a small part. Uh, part of it, you don't need to watch them, but if you do, you get uh, rewarded. I actually have one of the strongest heroes available. Uh, it's called Captain Meliodas. Uh, he's he's uh, the green attribute right here. The attributes work the same way that Racial Legends works. So the affinities, uh, these here they are called attributes. Yeah, the, it works the same uh, as Racial Legends. The good thing about here is that uh, there's so many ways to enhance your heroes. Like you can level them up from what I understand, evolve them to get them from SSR, which is the maximum right now, to UR, which is like uh, much more, <laughs> much stronger. And <laughs> right now you see when I click that, I got immediately a tutorial. This is really helpful in the beginning. So basically, every time you click something, this little pig comes out. His name is Hawk from the anime and he explains what everything is in the game so now he's telling me uh, what happens when you uh, upgrade the SSR to UR uh, because this is the first time I'm clicking it and this happens a lot in the beginning of the game because it's a tutorial for the first like 15 minutes you're just learning what everything does in the game and this is why I enjoy it so far yeah once we get out of this I'll explain how I got the strongest character available right now there we go tutorial complete and I got, oh, it usually gives you like one gem when you have the tutorial complete. So gems are really, really hard to get in the game. In terms of like one gem gives you 50 stamina. Like compared to other games, uh, you need like way more gems. But here just one gem equals to 50 stamina. And 30 gems gives you like uh, 11 pools of characters. I have this champion right here. His name is Captain Meliodas. He's green. He's very strong because of his moves. I've studied the um, Japan and Korea versions a bit, and everyone was saying that this character is the best one to begin with in your game. And the way to get him, the way I got him first was the way I got him first was actually resetting my game each uh, time I pulled. Because uh, once you finish the tutorial, you have 30 gems for free, and you use them for a first 11 pool and that pool has a guaranteed SSR hero and for me that guaranteed SSR hero uh, I did it a few times until I got this one <laughs> the green Meliodas and he's very strong uh, from what I understand he's gonna carry me through the PvE content so the story mode and you need to do the story mode in order to progress through uh, by the way, the story mode is exactly like the anime guys. So that's another way that I enjoy it. An easy way to, to do the reset is just click here. It, it says reset data and you start over from scratch. You go through the tutorial, it takes like 10 to 15 minutes and, and then you get the 11 pool. If you don't get a good champion from the 11 pool, you can just reset and ho hope to try again. I've also read that this is not needed because there's like basically you can beat the story mode with just free to play characters you don't need the, the best ones in the game to beat it but uh i just wanted to get him and yeah there he is 
the green Meliodas. Uh, I haven't done any summons now, but I'm going to do it in the future for sure uh, as I progress through the game and enjoy it much more. So let's get and do some battles so I show you how the playstyle uh, of the game is. Like, By the way, guys, if you didn't know, I'm playing this game currently on Bluestacks emulator. This is an Android phone emulator. It basically makes your computer act as a phone and you can play mo mobile phone games on it. I'm currently playing this on Bluestacks and... I'm enjoying it because the quality of the game is like top tier because my computer is much better than my phone. And uh, there's also stuff like the macro recorder where you can use and set up macros that help you out throughout the game. Uh, there's also stuff like the multi instance uh, that you have for, for Bluestacks. I have this so I can also play raid on my uh, other screen right here. So I can actually play uh, raid on Bluestacks and do also play this game as well at the same time. It does not affect my computer uh, that much. So guys, but the way the battles work, I'm gonna get in the battle here. I went through the first one just for a test. Uh, so here I'm gonna select a friend. Uh, no, I'm not gonna select these. I'm actually gonna select one of these in the bottom and you get five friendship coins, I think they're called. So you can just select one of those, put them there. It does not cost you anything and you select a very good hero. For example, here this guy has a level 32 mercenary uh, SSR hero. So I use him as a sub in my team. So my team now is at 29,562. I use two keys right here in order to get into the battle. So I go in. There it is. Look at how the graphics look, guys. It's exactly like in the anime. It's like, it's like you're in the anime. I, I'm going to remove auto mode just so I can explain how the, um, the skills work. <laughs> And the Otomo just went crazy. Look at him. Look at Green Meliodas there being so strong. So, um, the enemy is moving on right now, hitting each of my characters. These are very easy, I guess, because it's like the second stage. So, the way uh, that it works, if you haven't been through the tutorial yet, it's like uh, you choose one of the cards right in the bottom. So, there's seven cards. And if they're the same looking card, then you mean it means that you can join them up. So, this one. I can join it with this one if they're next to each other and make a, a version two of the card, like a two star card. When you get it to three stars, it's much stronger than before. So if I do this to move it, I immediately lose one attack here. So you have three attacks here. Uh, because I moved it in order to, for it to, uh, to join up and become a rank two, I lost one attack. So I only have two attacks out of three. So um, I would just put it up here. Wait, 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 wait. I would just put it like that and attack. When I clicked that, I actually cancelled my second attack. Uh, and that was bad of me. But <laughs> yeah, I'm still learning through the game. Uh, I'm going to show you in the next round how strong Meliodas is here. And how he's probably going to beat all of them uh, on his own. So here I'm going to select only Meliodas' skills. And this one right there. Let's see. Look at him. 7,000 hit. <laughs> so strong. I love the animations as well. It's very um, easy for me to play through this game rather than other games. For example, Calibria, that everyone's been playing it. Uh, I do not like that kind of a kind of game. So yeah, you click the card. You can hold the card here and understand what damage is done to the enemy. But since here it's very easy, it's like level twenty uh, versus my heroes who are also very close to there. It means that I can beat them very easily. By the way, you can skip all these animations if you get bored of them much later on. And yeah, there it is. You can actually do this on auto. And if you do it on auto, there we go. I have more power, so I go first. There's no speed attribute uh, from what I understand in the game. So yeah, I'm going to do this, this. The cards move out and this one evolved to rank two. I'm going to put that in as well. Let's see what my team does. There we go, 12,000. He's so, so strong and I barely have any equipment on him. Look at her. Okay, I'm gonna skip your animation and Meliodas move ultimate. He's ultimate. <laughs> I just love looking at all those animations. Even if I get bored of them, 
much later look at that 17,000 that's crazy crazy how strong he is There we go, and we get those gold chests, where those chests you can sell uh, a bit later on, and you sell them and you get more gold, and there's daily quests, um, yeah, the game the game is enjoyable so far, and uh, thanks a lot guys for watching this 7 Deadly Sins Grand Cross video, I'm gonna be playing this game, it's gonna be a part of the channel, of course, I'm gonna be devoting time uh, and effort for Rachel Legends as well, but uh, so far I'm enjoying this game, and I want this to be a part of my channel, if you do enjoy the game, come to my Discord channel uh, and join me in there so we can talk progress, progressing through the game together uh, and enjoying this game. So leave a comment down below if you started playing this game. Come join me on Discord so we can talk uh, and see where you're at and what you summoned so far, for example. And guys, this game looks fun. Let's play together. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video.